What's up YouTube? It's your boy Sax and I'm back with another video for you guys today and today I just wanted to talk about HD remasters and remakes and why people hate on them. Like every time I hear about an HD remaster and remake I've always immediately hear some criticism and some just biased blabbering that hurts my soul every time we talk about HD remasters and remakes. Um, People use like two or three main arguments when they talk about them and all these arguments aren't really that valid and they could and it just kind of sounds like people are hating and just want a reason to complain instead of just enjoying gaming or enjoying the hobby that they claim to love. One of the first things I always hear when someone talks about you know, a remaster or a remake is that you know everyone's always already played the game that wanted to play it like and then I'm think and I think and I look at the attach rate for some games on the previous console and the next console and I'm just like yeah right. The Last of Us is a prime example, and it's going to be the only example I can use. You can find a bunch more. Um, when I looked on VG charts, because the attach ratio for the PS3 version was roughly 1 to 17. So out of 85 million PlayStation 3s, they sold about 5 million uh, again, um, t titles of The Last of Us. When I looked at the PS4 version, the attach ratio was about 1 to 6. So out of 20 million PlayStation 3, um, PlayStation 4, excuse me, they sold about 3 million. That's a huge difference. 1 out of 17 versus 1 to 6. Um, that means uh, more people who own a PlayStation 4 has had the ability to get the game than, or, you know, have decided to pick up the game than people who've owned a PS3. And that says good for the last one. PlayStation um, for the Grand Theft Auto 5 it was, it was quite a bit smaller. For the PlayStation 3 version, it was about one out of four, you know, with 20 million out of 85 uh, PlayStation 3s. And for the PlayStation 4 version, it's it about the same one to one to three ratio. It's about one to three, which six million copies sold out of 20 million PlayStation 4s. Um, this direct, this is these ratios are a good indicator of how people are buying games. Um, the next one after that people like to use is that, you know, they've had been, we've had too many HD remasters and not enough games. And then the main thing when people say that, the funny thing is that these people act like indies aren't a game. And they're like, well, what have you had on the PlayStation 4 to play besides The Last of Us or besides Grand Theft Auto 5? Or beside and besides multiplayer, and then they'll say, "Well, um, this is talking about exclusive titles." I'm sorry. And then you'll say, um, "Well, Transistor, um, this not Dishonored. What's that game called? Jesus, I can't think of the one game that horror game. Um, let's say, um, Transistor, Don't Starve. You know, Child of Light. I think that's multiplayer, but still. And people say, "Well, oh, those are indies. They don't count." And I just kind of look like indies are games. <laughs> well, you know, anybody can, indie games can run on anything. Anybody can make an indie game. And I'm like, well, where's your indie game? And that's my main problem with gamers. And this kind of stems into the third part, and which probably is going to stem into a completely different rant. But gamers, you are not creators of content. Most of you don't know what it takes to create any kind of content. And you sit here and you bash indie games, you sit here and you bash HD remakes saying that they're easy to make, they're cash grabs, you know, they aren't real games, you know. And I'm like, so where's your game at? What have you created in your life from scratch? Nothing? Okay. So, as you guys know, I do music. I write arrangements, I make compositions. And they take a lot of time to do. To pick the notes out, the rhythms, the harmonies, the, the, the dynamics, the ornamentation, the uh, articulation, all that stuff that it takes for me to write music. And then sometimes when I have an idea that I want to do, I'm limited by my knowledge of, of music. Or I'm limited by an instrument or what I can do with the instrument or what I know the instrument can do. Then once I get some new knowledge, to a, I immediately compare what I've learned by applying it to a new, comp a older composition. I rewrite it and see what I can do differently to it to make it unique and to make it better than what it was. That's what HD remastering and remix are. 
a lot of times you guys complain about HD remaster. You know, I'm not HD remaster, but the previous iterations of games. You say, well, you know, it was 30 frames a second instead of 60. It kept dipping under 10 frames, and it had all these bugs and glitches and and all these texture tears and all this other BS. And then they say, oh, well, you know, we were limited by the hardware at the time, and we had limitations with time constraints because the game had to be out in a few months, and we had just discovered that glitch. And so when we made it for the PS4, we got to use the full power. We upscaled it to, like, 1440p, and... We did all of this stuff, we fixed all the bugs and glitches, we made it 120 frames a second, and you guys still aren't happy. They did this stuff for you that you still that you complained about, just so you complain about it anyway. You're not content creators. Learn to enjoy gaming in all aspects, or just find another hobby. Because you, you're complaining about HD remakes and remakes, don't fix anything. And, oh, I keep forgetting that when we think about it, the content, the creation of content is slowed down because we've lost so many developers last generation because, you know, people weren't really buying games. So even if you got these games, you know, that you want to, that you say you were missing so bad that you want to play, you guys probably wouldn't buy them anyway. But, um, yeah. I think re Remastered Remakes have their place in gaming, especially as a place to a remake of content and the set of anticipation for sequels or even new titles. But, um, you know, I'm sleep though. So what do you guys think of re HD Remastered and Remakes? I hope I didn't go on too long. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Your boy Sax is out. Peace.